All right, all right, all right. We're playing, uh, we're going to check out this new game, Alone in the Dark, and we're also testing out new equipment. So, let me get this uh, other thing pulled up here. And then we'll get started. If you need to, you can refresh chat right there. This is multi stream. Just checking it out. You didn't have to breathe like a frustrated. All right, so let's get started with this. Animal. Here we go. Lone in the dark. What's up, Cobra Kai? All right, let's say shadow. Mm. Just gonna give a, give a little bump, you know. That was good, I think. Looks nice and spooky. Yeah, it does. All right, let's just. Just gonna check uh, a few things real quick. So we've got here, all right, stealth, reload, dodge, interact, melee, range, examine, aim, soon, weapons, 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 weapons. Hey, Arctic Inhaler. What's up? Sprint down. Okay. Okay. Here we go. New game. Standard experience with intended difficulty. Dif Take it easy. Focus more on the story. We'll go standard. We'll start out standard. Big grief. Extra help about it and make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful insights. Old school for those who want to figure out everything for themselves. No, I don't want to figure out everything for myself, so we're going to go to modern. Here we go. Pretty good graphics. Oh no, Mr. Frog. Oh, you were dinner. He just taking time. Gotta be Louisiana. Gotta be. Which has some of the best ghost stories. Yeah, they do. I'm digging the graphics. Graphics are a little better than what I thought they were gonna be. I'd say they're they're pretty so far pretty on par with like Red Dead Redemption too. So your uncle, what's wrong with him? <laughs> He's possessed. As in the devil? Oh no, that's wrong. Like that. Oh, you were dinner. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession. No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Harper family is driven mad before they grow old. Did 
But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff oh, yeah, of all New the patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to kill him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. But there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Oh, well, that's kind of cruel. Here we are. <laughs> what? She said there ain't nobody out to get him because he's not worth getting. <laughs> My uncle's not well, Mr. Kirby. I want to make sure he's all right. Y'all staying muted partner? over there. You couldn't get a cab? Wow. I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. All right. Hmm. I say pick her. Jodie Comer. I think that's who's act is the actress that's playing her. You want to go with her? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. But I don't. Hello? It's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. We'll have a look. All right, chapter one. Here we go. Inside the house. Well, sometimes you know you gotta look around for clues, too. Well, this is already given creep factor, like a torture <laughs> room in the bottom of the house. I know, right? Oh, at least I got me a gun, but it's only got seven. It's only got uh, seven bullets in it. Now, can I holster this thing? Okay, we'll see. Okay. Rats. It's so dark in here. I can't see anything. You probably need a light. I feel like she's going to be in the stuff more. All right, if you were a key. Probably in one of the drawers. Yeah, but I can't. Maybe it's mixed in all those torture devices right there. Well, she keeps closing it. This That's straight torture. There's an old concrete hammer, like, just for beating people. Beating these weird nails into people. Put, put your gun away. There we go. 
Come on, where are they keep the keys? Yo, can I get a hint? Right off the rip, needing a hint. Look in that cabinet thing. Where? You can't well, that's the that. thing, yeah, it won't, like, I'm pressing every button on this thing. That's usually how I unlock things, too. <laughs> By ducking down? <laughs> yeah, I'm just staring at it. <laughs> oh, I'll see. Okay. Nothing, nothing. Just get that weird hammer and beat the door. What? What hammer? The one that was in the drawer. It won't let me pick anything up. Maybe it's not time to open the door yet. Well, it said find a way in. Yeah. You got that hammer? You will shoot it. I can't shoot the lob. Right. Why? Some, like, yeah, the movies. Every scenario. Well, I mean, she said I needed a key. Who said you needed a key? She did. Who said? Oh. Well, we didn't go in here. Is it? No. Okay, I can't jump. I can run and squat, though. Ah, ah, here we go. Here we go. And look, look it was all lit What's up this? for you. That was not the key. That was not the key. What was it? Flashlight. Flashlight. Ah. And the key. Sweet. Yeah. Now we're talking. All right. Now we can see in the dark. Let's see where all them rats ran to. Use it. Oh, look at them eyes. Look at them eyes. You see them? That's a cat. Totally Bro, a cat. No, that's gotta be a rat. Oh, wait, something's over here. What do we get? Bullets. Yeah. I oh, said so you were just walking around waving your gun with no bullets. Yeah, I had seven. I had seven of them. Bro, listen. It's gonna be a rat. <laughs> Uh, it's gone. You scared it with your face. Well, he just closed his eyes and disappeared, didn't he? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. What we got over here? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get in there. Get that hammer, girl. We could get into anywhere. Yo, it won't let me pick the hammer up. Oh, wait, that's a mannequin. Never mind. Statue. I thought it was a creepy meme whenever we went in. Ooh, there's an old creepy hole over here. Hmm. Pick it up. Pick it up. Reach in there and grab it. Oh, this chick sucks. Why would you stick your hand in a mysterious hole? Yo, it was something down there we could have used. We got gray water. <laughs> <laughs> you might use that. You could splash it in someone's eyes. You give them pink eyes. <laughs> yeah. All right, need, a, need another key to get in that door down there. What we got right here? Ah, is it a key? Ooh, ooh, yeah, buddy. Anything over here? Anything hiding around the corner? <laughs> mm, Doritos. 
And what's down that other little That's hole? That's where we needed the key. Oh. But I was just checking up here first. Well, that's... He, she could get over that chain right there. Oh, we got a drink. Yeah. Well, she gets out of breath real easily. Let's see what she says, like, trying to go up these stairs. These right here. What's this say? It's a chain. Uh, girl, how lazy are you? Just put a leg over no, it. No, this is a me accurate game. I can't go there because it's chained. <laughs> yeah, it is so blocked by this chain. All right. You use the housekeeper's key. Why the housekeeper just leaving stuff lying around like that? Well, look at the house. It don't look like she's been there to do her job. All right, find the front door and let the detective come here. Derketo. Derketo. Oh, there's a hammer. Can we grab it? Nope. Man, she does not want to grab anything, bro. How lazy would can you, you be? Oh, oh we got it. Yes, like I would be beating down. doors in bro, like right you now. Can break a window out. Somebody sneaks up on you. You can, you know, bludgeon them. I mean, you can do a lot Wait, with a hammer like you that. You said you would go around knocking doors down. Yeah. Yeah. This is why you would die in a, in a horror game. <laughs> well, we got family Bible. A clue. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Ooh. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris gris. What's Gregory? Gregory. Gregory. This is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French court of priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madam. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madam. I said no such thing. Please, I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Mm. Guys, Grigri is an African or Caribbean charm or amulet. The use of charms, especially in voodoo. Well, in, yeah. or, in a sentence, the New Orleans Grigri traditions. We know this isn't going to end well because... It's a hillbilly old lady trying to do bad stuff. <laughs> Everyone can have their hobbies. Let's not discriminate. <laughs> Hang on, let me adjust this real quick. Right now, let's talk about this bed making skills. This is a zero out of ten. My grandma can do way better than this, just so you know. And she is like handicapped. That's mean. It's the correct term. Yeah, but you're talking about your grandma like that. No, I'm saying her 
bed making skills are way better than this video games. trying to fix the screen for the viewers watching so that they weren't seeing all the border around it. Still a work in progress guys. Still tweaking bugs out. Alright. I'm surprised it wasn't locked to be honest. Well this is pretty nice. Better than the rest of the house. Are we gonna find another? Who put, who put bullets in the? Freezer? I was honestly expecting another like hammer. Bro, I'm just racking up that. You know, when you're getting this many bullets right off the rib. <laughs> Next thing is like hold shift to run. Well, what they making? Up there and look in that pot. Ain't it? Oh yeah, looks like a stew. That, chili? Might that, be chili. That's flaming hot diarrhea right there. Mm. I'm leaving all of these doors open. <gasps> Did you see that big old rat? And later on, I'm gonna wish that uh, I wouldn't have left them open. But where did the dude go? He's still waiting for me to come let him in. <laughs> <laughs> like you went off full blown explorer and he's just like waiting right. until next year. Streetcar ticket. I mean, I gotta, you know, I gotta get my stuff in because when he gets in here, he's probably gonna hit the fan. So yeah, I gotta be ready. Where's everybody at? Because didn't she say, yeah, well, you need to wave your gun for the staff? Where's the staff? Oh, more clues. A clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Well, okay. He said for you not to touch that. That doesn't touch it anyway. Okay. Okay. So let's let's knock there right there. They need a valve. Well, somebody left a piece of bread out, too. They was munching while they were working on the boiler. Mm, just came from there. Oh, the door shut by itself. Reading material on the pooper. No, I would probably call it. Oh, oh, there's somebody. There's some leakage over there already. Oh, no, wait. What, what is that? A wet towel. Oh. Look like a wet towel. I thought somebody peed in the floor. Ah. Floor plans. Yeah, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so. Grandpa Observatory. And where's the front door? Anybody see it? You're going too fast. All right, so we're here at the orderly. And I don't know. Garage, it has to be. Kitchen garden. On that floor. Boiler room, we found pieces there. 
Well, it's at the front door. Well, there's steps right there on the outside. Madeline. So it should just be down the hallway, I guess. Surprised by her own wreck. Oh, got another key. Ooh, what's this? All right, that one doesn't work. Don't worry, taking your stuff. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he would do something irreversible. Sandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rock for me in the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blocks and streaks of fetid rock was talking to him. She got some deep pockets because she is putting everything into her pockets. She has like Hermione Granger pockets. You know, in that purse that she has. Alright, so so if we go through the dining hall to the grand parlor, maybe that'll get us to the front door? Find the front door and let detective inside. Library. Ah, what is this? Yo, oh, there's blood. That, that might be old paint. Uh, fair enough. Leave it alone. Well, that does not go with the rest of the house. Alright, where are we at now? I would guess the grand parlor. Oh, no, you're on the right stair here. hall. Okay. Stair hall. Jeez, where is the freaking front door in this place? Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the war... Okay, I, I can't do that. Sorry. For anybody that's wanting to read that. Trying to keep this going and find the front door. Another locked door. I think that one's locked. Yo. Mm, bolted door. Right. So let's find some stairs. I need, I need the key. key. Oh my goodness, what these Why keys! Why are there so many locked doors? This is ridiculous. All right. We finally found a friend door. He's like, wait, where'd he come from? 
Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Well, of course not. McCarthy! Where's she come what are you from? Doing? We've been all up I in this house. Not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Max. What is going I'll on? Find that little rascal. Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. My name is Emily Hartwood. I, I'm, I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at their setup. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, you ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's he brought up in a stew on the stove. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Fine. I'll ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. <laughs> One last stink eye before she leaves. <laughs> you want to see Jeremy's room? Can you show us? Follow me. They never trust little kids. She's like, she, yeah, she's way too happy. Yeah. Come into this torture room right here. And she's like taking extra steps to be like, hey, are you coming? You coming? Okay. Thank you. Oh, she just stuck her tongue out at her. Strange kid. Mm -hmm. Let's look around, see what we can find. Right. Lock, lock. Oh, it's one of them puzzles. Can't do anything with it. What kind of stuff are we looking for? I've never been part of an investigation before. Letters, diaries, receipts, all sorts of notes. All right, what about a book? Every night the dog oh, man that. stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he look the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could okay, rest got so maps and drawings of combat and tear away a cemetery. Well, well, Senora Perosi, back from the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senor. Yeah. Is there anything I can do for you but I think I'll bury you in that bleak and that compromise? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest and then I shall wait. Okay. Got some more key. Oh, to the box. Boom. Boom. Is it gonna let you do something with the box now, or you gotta collect more? I don't know. Let's see. Well, that key don't go to that, so let's come back over here. Put that painted tile in there. Oh, okay. 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 Hey! Ooh, ooh, got that pu. 
puzzle. Ooh, ooh, got the puzzle. You didn't even help. You was just gonna walk around with that piece. Have you ever seen anything like this? <laughs> Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Yo, uh, that's freaky. Kind of looks like William Defoe. He does. <laughs> he does look like William Defoe. <laughs> I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Come on with it. Sure, I'll find one. She looks like she's looking in the mirror. She looks like she is seeing a ghost. He's staring into her soul. Look at that. Bro, he's staring into my soul. This is like, like uh, Ghostbusters Part Two. Oh yeah, with Ray Vigo. when he's like, yeah. Who? Vigo. Uh, <laughs> Ray, can you move out of the way? We'd like to shoot the painting. Heartwood. She got some bad tinnitus going on. I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going well, on. Well, what about Professor Plum? Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all She's night. She's still staring at the freaking canvas, like it's going to jump out at her or something. Detective Carnby? Where did... Uh, he he wasn't playing when he said he don't want to be there all night. You by yourself now. She like, okay, this sucker done disappeared and the door upstairs is locked. I mean, open. Uh oh. And like, that wasn't there before. Whole town going on now. We got like a a new version of like Silent Hill going on. And best to get the corner store. So we gotta get over there. Alright, so can we jump? Wait, did I just hear some tire squall? I think that detective's gone. He right. burn out of there. Still no key. It's like the detect. Hey, I don't remember. Okay. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. Uh uh. Looks like a uh, swamp thing. Oh, there's one right there! Yo, the first thing. Bro. Okay. Okay. Run. Run back in back. Run! Bro, I freaking lost majority of my daggone bullets on this thing. That's worse than the zombies in uh, Resident Evil. Look at this nasty thing. Looks like something the cat threw up. Oh, I like that. You walk through the blood and I leave blood tracks. Oh, blood splatter all over. Oh, that's, that's a good tension to be too. Alright. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yo, she can't shoot worth the crap. And these things take a lot of bullets. I got 13 left. I got way more than that. Okay. 
I should turn the flashlight off. Maybe that light draws them in. Alright. We should be investigating the corner store. Which I think is this way. This can't be. Not gonna lie, that was a little intense. That was a little intense. First uh, cat throw up monster that we've had of the night. Set up? Yeah, both me and Lada stuck around. We're real orderless now. You remember my sister Lada, don't you? Yeah, we remember Lottie. What you missed it. What happened? Well, I lost majority of my bullets that I've been collecting because these things that look like swamp thing mixed with cat vomit. It takes a lot of bullets to put these suckers down. Yeah, I walked out in the thing to go over to this shop. And I saw one in the distance, you know so I had my gun out. As soon as I get to the edge, sneak up on him, one come from the corner and chased me all the way down. And he's like, and I was like, boom, boom. And then he died. But. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. There's evil hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That was it's been protecting him ever since he got up from Miss Jackson down the Sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh. Have you been there? If you're watching, you're one hour I, we're not out of focus. We have the lights off. A couple little ambient lights going. Set the mood. Yeah, we want to get scared too. I'll take a look. Stay safe, Miss. Oh, I did. When he jumped out, I was like, oh, no. When he jumped out? No, the. Swamp thing that looks like a uh, cat vomit. We can even train one open to Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter. The other are two belong to the DeSoto, one of the clerk's office, and one in the library. So we can get in the library and a clerk's office back at the other place. See, that's why they've been giving me like a lot of bullets. Oh, because you gotta be ready. Mm. Mm. Okay. So a goat with horns. We need whatever that one on the top is and looks like a jar. What is that? To complete the uh I thought that was a snake. This is this is preserved reptile. Oh. But it goes to to complete the set a goat without horns, we need two other items. More bullets, thank you. More bullets, thank you. All right, so we can go back to map is of no use here. It's because you went into this weird silent hill no, land. It's cause I'm, yeah, no, it's because I'm not in the, what you call it, place. The house? Yeah. Where that alley at? I went down an alley. Are you trying to go back down there and get eat again? I'm trying to go back to the house. Because I got two keys that'll unlock something. I 
I didn't. I don't remember coming all the way down here. See, there it is. See, that's my bloody footprints. Because it was if you walk through. You lost a lot of blood. Yeah. Well, some of that's his. Oh, uh, that's some big old roaches. So I'm in the house and. Oh, everything changed. I'm with you. I'm with you. So when everything changed, I no longer have access to the rest of the house. Okay. Well, let's head on down the road again. I turned my light off too because I didn't know if that was like gonna attract them. Alright. I'm gonna take that drink. I'm gonna take them bullets. I'm getting that car and drive around. I don't think you can. I think this is just showing you can't. I can't go that way. Yeah, that's what I figured. Mmm. She'd be, she be getting tired easy. She's out of shape like us. Yeah. Wait, what was that in the street up there? Where? Oh, uh-uh. You see what that thing looks like? That's worse than the last one I had to shoot. Let's just uh, see if something's in here. No. What we got right here? Oh, a weapon. You're definitely gonna, you're oh, gonna, I knocked gonna, his head off. You're gonna be out of breath now. I knocked his head off too, but I lost my Oh you gotta come at me trophy. But that's it. The pipe broke. Well it's a one and done? It's a one and done. Those Pick are up that big pipe right there and take it with you. I can't. Okay, he's gone. Maybe they, they're they scared of bells. I'm going to be throwing it in and you just strike down. Tap Archie. Quickly throw him hold in. Oh, he's back. All right. Has she even, like, questioned, like, what are these things? Or anything like that? Or she's no. just been completely cool with seeing these? Well, I pray for her too. There we go. Wow. Oh, I thought you were trying to hit it. Like your aim really sucked right there. Oh no, he sees you. It's over for you now. Oh! Oh, ah. hey, right behind you. And she's already, she, she's so out of breath. Tea bag, tea bag, yeah. <laughs> girly tea bag, girly tea bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> you gonna come at me like that? Oh, 
something else. Alright, grab me some more bullets. Got 22 of them now. Somebody been performing a ritual back here. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, he's up there. Oh! He says surprise. No, he isn't. I set myself on fire. Oh, you ain't got nothing? Point blank on you. I done set myself on fire. You so dirty now. Oh goodness, it's a big one. Oh. What is all that? Is that a fish? It's like worms. Go, boss. Oh, there's another one. It's not looking good for you. I mean, even if you shoot on the head. Oh, I'm trapped. See nothing. Oh, you're not dead. Let go. Run, chick. What you doing? This must be Miss Jackson's. Good grief. She just sitting there I like. I don't know how you survived that yeah, because it, it, it looked like your head was being gnawed on. Look, she was all like, it just, it had me, but I, I still got to stand here. Like, no, nah, you got free. Run away, sucker. Okay, use the talisman to get back to the to the place. I wanna look around her. I got no more keys. Okay. It's nice to know. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. We'll slap that sucker down in there, let's go. I'm not sure what numbers I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. That's a good point. What we got? What we got? Jeremy's notes. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that don't tell me nothing. Three five eight. Let's try three five eight. Three five eight. Hey. What's that picture in the glass? Where, Where is that? Uh oh. If the doors there's it's the blanket behind you show you that's what's up well let's step on good to see you again miss hartwood mrs. mrs thompson told me you were here she also alerted me that you brought a detective with you and she's very like, curious you got to be kidding this me. is all about you, you don't remember me do you miss hartwood we met at your family's house in the garden district when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. He's gonna be like, you ain't looking well either. You kinda dirty. Let me make you a drink. Like, when's the last time you had a bath? I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. 
You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartworth. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old fashion. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. Are you ready to tell me why you are here, Miss Hartworth? And why you brought a detective? I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Because you're well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, she's secretly wishing she had that pipe again. You've been wanting to move back for quite a few years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man, depressed even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the Dark Man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the Dark Man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? Oh, he trying to hide something, I'm telling you. Can we ever be sure? If the Dark Man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. Made it through chapter one. Well, it's, it's about comedy. time you showed back God, up. I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's uh, no. hard to explain. You disappeared, buddy. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You have dirty upset. clothes. No, it's... And blood on I don't you. know what's happening. This is a very stressful situation. I don't, there's no blood on her no more. Ugh, no, you she don't. should have half a head because that thing. When you sit down, smoke some of the freak. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. Oh, I found a talisman like trying to get just her like the one in the painting. Uh -huh. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. Yeah, you tell him, Hopper. I'm not crazy, Detective. Not yet. <laughs> Give it time. It'll seem catch good. you later. He don't. He don't believe you. He's like, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy's hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea. The place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Alright, so we got in here. Another saw you noticed in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a bow from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam pouring out. Be careful. 
Valve well, from the wine cellar. Why we gotta fix the boiler? I mean, y'all want the place to blow up. They should be hiring a repairman for that. Like, that ain't her job. What we got? Room key number six. Oh, got me another Dr. clue. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Accounting and all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Waits. Magdalena Thompson, or Mags, is responsible for the household. Jean-Baptiste and Charlotte Tabois are responsible for keeping the guests' medical regiments in check. Finally, Jack Chance is our gardener, who can occasionally be seen in the conservatory, but is, for the most part, busy outside. There are currently six guests at Deceto. Malcolm McCarthy and Ruth Talant reside on the first floor. Jeremy Hardwood, Elisabetta Perosi, Grace Saunders, and of course, Cassandra Beauregard live on the second floor. Okay. You got all that? Sure. Okay. All right, when it makes you work, you need two more of those. Another clue. Sanders. Man, it sounds like the roof just came down. <laughs> Interesting. All, all the patient rugs. It looks sturdy. Y'all don't be opening this. Hmm. Need something to be able to open that. Anything that can Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. We looked in the well and she wouldn't freaking get anything out of it. Alright, we're done in here? Let's go. All right, so we are in the stair hall, and Lottie's room is all the way at the end. There's the library. We do have a key for that. That's the attic. All right, Jeremy's room is up one level, and then the wine cellar is down right there that's where we need that something oh the for the boiler room yeah okay them doors just be closing by themselves that's what happens on a haunted house they need the key i need the key she always needs the key. Wow, well, you notice how she was like real reluctant to. Look at all them crows. But they just waiting on something to die. What was that noise? I don't know. Yeah, we're in the library now. Why is she sitting up in here with the library door locked? Mm 
Getting drunk and reading in the library. <laughs> I like how it's just awkward. Nobody's saying anything. Like, I know you just had this lock, but yeah, I came in anyway. Because <laughs> I, I got the key. And I'm just going to stand here and not say anything. I'm going to, like, okay, she I, look, look the, she's trying to, like, cool walk, but look mm -hmm. at how dirty she is. It's just not working. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Hartwood. Well, she knows who she is. That is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. She's still trying to cool wall. Look at her. <laughs> it just don't work. She's doing the dirty girl strut. I'm gonna stand by this fire and just uh, smoke this cigarette. Is that Harriet you're smoking? <laughs> How terribly quaint. Maybe so, but I like it. Would you care to share some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. It just isn't working with the dirty clothes. Like, how is this girl not questioning? She's too busy trying to hit on her. I was saying, like, how she walk in and you ain't like. I enjoy why your are you mockery, Miss Hartwood. I can tell we would make great friends. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. <laughs> Your insincerity is really refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am. Then you could stay. Give it a few years and I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. <laughs> oh, good. I'll be looking forward to it. You don't know anything about me, like do you? Everyone here is really strange, and it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. Bon voyage. Toodles. Cool walk out now. Just doing my dirty girl walk on out. I thought we were staring because something what I was like, happen. I was like, are we waiting on something? Another Those plantations of Louisiana. Terry Bridlow, 1917. Yesterday was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford in 1818. Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek revival temple facade. Desato kept a modest production of Garrick tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Desato was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. Mm. People who traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires, bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desato and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their settle was left in ruins for several They have some really long passages. I'm like. <laughs> Like, all right, we gotta cut that. We're just talking about the lost plantation. And we're not doing. Ah. Can't say we didn't check this room. 
Ooh, can I have this? Hmm. Break it oh, with your elbow. Not. She don't want to take anything. Put that chair it. through it. It's wet shut. So I guess room six. Is, no. Something's wet shut. Door. She don't want to pick up nothing that could be construed as. Oh! Oh, uh oh. What's going on? Four. It's flooding in. That's that gray water. Yep. Somebody's a smart little bee. We're gonna need these. Break that block. Well, she can't even run through this ledge. Is it it's making you walk slow? Yeah, like I can't run anything. Set that lock, chick. Um. Well, okay then. Everything's back to normal. You just had a little crazy episode. Ooh, she's starting to shake. Okay, that's the door from the beginning that we can't get in. You should have kept them bolt cutters and went and cut that chain over there. I wonder if I, see, if I can do that. Nope. I'm telling you, she don't want to freaking help do nothing. Alright, where was that hole at from earlier? Was it over here? Nope. Can't go out that hole. Remember what, you know what I'm talking about? No. The bucket where I was like, she won't even reach down in the hole and get that bucket. Somebody said something about the bucket. That letter said something about don't oh, get the thing out of the hole in the garden. Now look at her trying to do the cool walk again. <laughs> what is it? Why does she got to get the cigarette every time she does the cool walk? Well, you can't do you the doing, cool, dirty girl around. walk without You almost cigarette. scared me to death. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb your ritual. I wouldn't have guessed voodoo was in practice in a place like this. The doctor may be all about science, but I know these roots have power. You know what's going on here? Yeah, power! I have a feeling Dorsetta was cursed. There are several players with stakes in this game. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. And it would all be a lot better if you could get your uncle out sooner than later. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish you the best of luck, Miss Harwood. Well, thanks. I really mean that. Now, excuse me. I need to look after my gumbo. Else, that was gumbo. I, 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 I said Not it was some kind of... flaming hot diarrhea chili. I mean, it looked like flaming hot diarrhea chili. All right. See, there it is, right there. What's that? It's another piece of broken plate. Bore you down in there and get Just it. Just jump in there, girl. Hold that oh, water oh, oh, hose oh. and go down there. Hold up, hold up. What we got right here? Mummified cat. So we got one of three for beast of burden. Alright, can I turn this water on though? Maybe we can flood it. No. What's, what the crap, man? I was gonna say we flood it to get that plate out, but. Alright, I hmm. forgot what we were doing. <laughs> 
The housekeeper buried something in the flower patch beneath one of Dr. Gray's windows. She was singing in some Creole language, performing a peculiar bourgeois voodoo ritual. Certainly not an unfamiliar sight in the country. Find a way to reach the piece of but voodoo had never felt world. this bitter to Emily. Oh. Ah. Aha. Oh, <laughs> there's that rat again. No, it's a cat. There's the legs right there. Got it. Got that broken glass. I mean, broken plate. Come on with it. Yeah. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Well, I don't understand. Do you have to pick the hose up? I don't know. Whenever I click X, it just takes me to the room key and the bolt cutters. Hmm. I don't think that's working. Well, the water got to be flowing somewhere. You're just running these people water bill up. Hey, I ain't paying for it. I'm gonna shoot you, water hose. Get in there. <laughs> See, it won't let me do anything. Maybe we turn it on and we just come back and check on it. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be any different. Well, I don't know how to move the water hose. Like, it literally, like, see how I say it? I can't. That's my only two options when I press X. Here we go. It worked. Now what? You gonna waste more water? Nope. Watch this. Watch. Well, what's this? Watch this. Let me let me show you what your boy's about to do. Let's run on back over here. Look at that. Look at that. You could have just picked up the hose and just put it in there. I don't think it would reach. I mean, it probably yeah, would. There, yeah, it's all curved. There we go. Well, that, that doesn't let you do anything, though. All right. We got the broken plate. We're just going to let the water run. Seems like that's a little too much work for her. Hang on. Well, it wasn't the boiler room. It was downstairs. So we're here in the kitchen garden. Oh, crap. That's on the bottom. So the wine cellar. We need to go... steps. Okay. I want to see the cat. Well, you can't. He won't come out. He's or come she out. won't come out. Ah, here we go. Got 
get off the wood. Now I can't go in that door. Okay, this is upsetting. So we can't go in that door. Maybe you can never go in that door. So I bet we gotta go back through that other one into through the laundry, through the kitchen, into the ballroom. That's a lot of running for her. Hey, she got... And she's been smoking these cigs. I just don't know. <laughs> Happy go. How do we get to this? Chick's gone. One of three for a bag of bonds. All right, we gotta get downstairs. I feel like that's the same way you just came from. Well, those stairs don't go down. So, and then that's locked. Hmm. How did we go? So there's got to be... Ah! Here we go. Here we go. Now where are we at? We are... That's going into the boiler room. So we got to get to that food and wine cellar. So it's down the hall. Alright, this is where the the bolt. Well, it's through this door over here that we need the key for. Key. Does your keys disappear once you use yeah, them? Yeah, unfortunately. That sucks. Astronomical clock mentioned in the commonplace book. Find the boiler mentioned in the common. Investigate what Jurassic knows. Okay, let's Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. That's why you gotta fix We went the upstairs away. instead and played backgammon. I let her win because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more eyes. <laughs> is that that little girl? I think so. <laughs> I wish you had all the eyes you You only need. look stupid when you squint. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. What's that stain? It looks like some kind of rot. It's another one of those prints that the It's also broken and missing something. Oh, it's missing two pieces of the wheel. All right. Well, she said a piece was behind it. 
Yeah, but you gotta find the the valve is in so the. Get that way. Yeah, because if I try to go over there, that steam burns. And the, the valve to turn it off is in the lock gate in the wine cellar over there. I thought that's where you were going. The boiler no. seemed unremarkable, except for the broken decorative plating on the side. It looked similar to the ritual bench that Emily used in Miss Jackson's place to open the door leading back to their cell. Emily wondered why it was broken and if it had been deliberately sabotaged. If so, why? Emily figured she would find out later and focused on finding the broken pieces and mending the plate. So where is the... Oh, there it is. All right, stands the threshold of my room, kind of days until I see her and look to summon my father. He struggled. So the clock. Upstairs, maybe? Definitely got to go to the map a lot on this game. All right, let's go back up. We haven't been upstairs yet. You haven't been to room six that you have the key for. Well, that one's got furniture behind it. the bathroom. Well, I went in this room. Can I keep it this? Nope. So I think room six is upstairs. It's wet shut. There will say six is over here, but it's wedged shut. That's the door to get down here. So maybe we can go around and go through Dr. Gray's apartment. Nope, that doesn't go anywhere. So in order to get to that hallway, we need to go up the spiral staircase to get Which to the Which is the mezzanine. ones that are chained, aren't they? Yes. But that that door right there is the door is goes to that room six and the other two doors. Mm. Okay. So these two are locked. Yep. So the only thing to do is go back down. Girl, you getting your workout. That's the library. So, I guess we're going to sprint the cross. Alright. I think this is... I need the key. Can't get there. Alright, that's where we went earlier. Alright, so let's try these steps. It's like a one giant freaking maze. Alright, this is what. Oh, what is this? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the clock? Yeah, that's the clock. That's what this must for. be the clock mentioned in the cup. This looks like the thing that held the talisman in the French Quarter. It's broken and missing something. Need one more piece. One more piece for that. One more of the door. This one's blocked. Jeremy's room. Jeremy's room. Hey, we got to the other side. 
Hey. So we had to go up there. Okay. This must not be. Oh, this is. We were in this room already. Yeah, that's where you got the creepy photo. That's right. Well, I didn't realize it was. Jeremy's room we were in. Those little girls said, Hey, do you want me to show you Jeremy's yeah, room? Yeah, <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Two or three for lost children. Looks like we just need some form of belt for that. Well, you gotta love when you you open stuff and there ain't nothing in there to take. No bullets, no health stuff. Just like that one. Nothing in there. There we go. Finally, room six. Things gonna get crazy. What is strange about you, beautiful woman? Watch out, I did it. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. Hmm. I visited the grave nice. of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. Well, now I'm going to summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. Alrighty. Uh, are these zodiac signs? Uh huh. Uh huh. Examine the paintings. Uh, very good, very good. Well, there ain't. And maybe it's talking about the paintings on the walls or something. Ah. Okay. With all the naked people. You may need to remember how to get them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. Huh. But not well, for there's your zodiac. I will see right her there. burn soon enough. Isn't that yeah. black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Tercetto, and sadly, no Estate. Good that doesn't tell me. Train. Oh yeah, here we go. One. May you still ten. sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. One eleven ten. One eleven ten. The Astarte Artist Colony. I'm pretty sure they had a Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Contra Train when I was a child. Hmm. That's a loud clock. God, I want to look at all these. What was that? There's some aggressive looking rot on these paintings. Oh, complete the shape. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, 
they just did the music for no reason. I thought something creepy was going to happen. Nora Keith, Franklin Mazet, William Arge. William Arge. William Arge, that's two. What was the other one? Come on, you gotta be helping. William Franklin Nora. William Franklin Nora. William. Franklin in the middle. Franklin and then Nora. So two, nine, four. But then that zodiac sign was something else, wasn't it? Mm hmm. What'd that just say? <sighs> what do you gotta know 294 for? Oh, right here. One, so this is two. So Pisces. Pisces, Libra, Taurus. Pisces, Libra, Taurus. All right. You remember your no nope. signs? <laughs> sure don't. Pisces, Libra, Taurus. So the circle, the mega underline, and then weird looking frog. Pisces, Libra. Boom. <gasps> Booyah, what you got? What, what? Who's doing it? Who's doing it? Me. Me. <laughs> Your boy just did that. Yup, that's right. Let's go put this off. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Not again. I got some big old bugs. As long as my... Got 14 freaking bullets. Uh-oh. Oh, some worm things again. I just walk through them. Seems I do. They bite me. What's she doing? Stomping them? I don't know what she's doing, but it's... it's... See, you just had to walk through to get on back. I need to stop doing that. I, I don't understand what's happening. I think I've seen this somewhere. I like how she just com completely is just... Goes back to normal, doesn't say anything or have a freak out or anything. Yeah. Why didn't it do something? You put all the pieces there. I don't know. Like, oh, because. You need to turn that one. Okay, yep. I, I wasn't looking at the thing over here. My bad. That's a hint for you to look at the commonplace book. Um, but I didn't want to do that. I don't want to look at the commonplace book. Okay. 
So where's the hen at? I don't know. That's what she said. Oh, here we go. I'm confused. Where is it at? Right there. So it's got two cracks coming down the left side. And then it makes like an A. And then two of them going this way. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I don't know what. Oh, no. Maybe it's the these little shapes right here on the side, also. Like I bet it goes here. You're, well, you're missing, see that piece right there on the end? Yeah. It's not connected to your thing now. I don't know. Well, it can't be that. It's got to be. Mm-mm. It's got to go here. I mean, isn't that the way you just had it? No, I had two of them. Two of, I had the top left and the bottom right. Um, hmm. One ten eleven. No. Now what was the with that eight five three eight five three all right so It was eight five three. Where do you where'd you get those numbers from? Well, it was in this uh book right here, see? The thing right here. Eight in the little, five in the middle, three in the big. Oh. For this one right here, but. three numbers eight five three so maybe we need to go
Okay, this is definitely this one got me stumped. It should be because according to the thing, the little one in the middle right here should be eight. The next one out should be five. And then the big part should be on three. But it's not doing anything. Does it the whole thing twist? No, it, it twists in part. Yeah, like this. Yeah, because the picture, maybe it's got to be a... So the picture looked like that, didn't it? Well, I mean, it's still got to be... No. Sudden, Jeremy's bleak. See, in the book, it has it right here. Eight is circled, five is circled, and three is circled on the outside. Bro, this is freaking stumping me. Now, as it gave me a, it has given a hint this entire game until now. You're supposed to be helping. I don't understand why those numbers that are circled aren't opening anything. Hmm. Why can't you go repair the decorative plate? Uh, find the talisman numbers hidden on the astrological clock. So I'm just looking at it wrong. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Should have just looked at my object <laughs> objectives. <laughs> so we got uh, three, four, and six. So three, four, six. It's showing you something. That's just the holy outside Jeremy's room. I was about to say we've outside. seen that. What did she say? It's the what outside Jeremy's room? The hallway outside of his room. Didn't last time it showed you something, something bad happened? Well, this is the hallway where all that crap was, you know, follow, following me. Mmm. What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? You gotta be kidding me. Sure, the door opens by itself. Let's just go on in. I 
did it. I opened up another dream. This ain't no dream, sister. That looks like blood. Look for Jeremy inside <clears throat> what? I don't know, I did I missed it. Emily Look for Jeremy a inside the hateful mound so beyond the orb. Three, Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forced off. Tuesday. More than freaking delayed, but delivered. They're gonna come. Bruh, I, I bridge you're, bridge. you're up in the creepy land. They're gonna come after you. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, painter. We read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow to try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mm, he's trying to get inside the Mr. mound. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. The mound you about have his to presence. find? Yeah, he was trying Hotwood to go to. promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. Mm. He means to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. So we gotta go down river. Really, that's the end. The work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil cow to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. Bridge from the oil tower to bayou. This is. Hmm. Hmm. This game worse than old Resident Evil with giving you a limited amount of ammo. Like, oh, you're the thing you gotta fight is gonna take at least 15 bullets to kill it. We're gonna give you 11. But the pipes and stuff seem to work well. They just break after one kill. Yeah. I don't know what I picked up. I'm going to hit this drink real quick. <laughs> it helps with uh, my health to calm my nerves. I need the key. Ain't got no, that's the story. The key. Yeah. yeah. I need the key. What you need is to freaking get a life. Uh, it needs to be like a collection of keys she just keeps in her yeah. Hermione Granger pockets. Yep. Yeah. I'm telling you, she stuffed them pockets full. Oh, that's not good. Nope, there's something bad over there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm, told you enemies are coming. You're about to get your head gnawed on again. Locked. Unlock. I think that key goes that door that was locked. How about you just unlock the one that was locked? No, no, the one in the uh, the little house thing over here. Remember where one of the doors was locked? 
Well, she just powered through that one. Whoop, whoop. That's what it's up. Oh, look, you just went outside. I'm turning the flashlight off. You don't ever know what can be attracted by that flashlight. Like the, uh, Uh, demon nurses in Silent Hill. Bridge lever. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Dang. I might as well just top it off. Getting her a little Got a buzz little, going. Get a little nip. Oh, I got me a pipe. <clears throat> I'm surprised she did that much physical work. <laughs> hey, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Ain't got enough liquid courage. Come on, I got the lead pipe. I'm ready to beat somebody. Even though it's gonna break if only like you like one person. But, you know, or one monster. I hear something. Hey, it's another pipe. You need to get that one too. You can't carry more than one? Nope. Which means I need to beat somebody down with this one so I can come back and get this other one. Anything over here I need? Oh no. <laughs> yep, you go in. Oh, I thought you was going in the water with it. I did too. I better lost my pipe. Come on with it. Come on with it. You ugly sucker. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Pop up right here. Yeah. What you got? You ain't bad. You ain't bad. Ooh, Piper axe. Piper's about to break. Alright. Wait a minute. What? She just walking through that because what you mean? that thing was going all down deep. So yeah, it it it, it uh digs holes like tremors. All right, there me a shovel if I need one. Never know what's uh when I'm thinking might pop up again. She like give me on up out of here. No, maybe I want the axe. Get that axe back. I'll say we came from over there. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, 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 what you got? Come on, come on. Nah, come on back out, Cletus. Throw over there again. Hit it! What are you doing? Yeah. This is weird. Look at 
the back side of it. Wait. It's weird looking. Wait, this is my pinchers coming off my butt. I'm gonna pull on to that. I can break this. I just need something to hit it with. Why is she not doing this to every single door blocking That's our path? Alright. We know there's a half broken pipe and a shovel back there. Just in case we need it. been beat with a shovel before. carry 27. I think it's coming from down there in that little box. This house is clean. Alright, we've been in that house. Him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, all right, we are one away from Beast of Burden. One away. our light. And now she's trying to act like she ain't already gross. Why well, can't I take this shovel? Jerry inside the hateful mound beyond the oil rig. Alright, so. 
where else can we go? We can't go down here. Get up in that water. I can't. Why not? I don't know. It won't let me. Uh -huh. Alright, so we checked all that over there. And we checked this house. What about that area uh, over yeah, there? No, I, I see the little thing running right there. You see it? That's where all them birds are flying around or whatever. Hey, good call. Like I think sneak. you're about to have a bad time over there. No, I'm gonna sneak. I'm gonna sneak over there. I'm gonna sneak over there, guys. Shh, don't tell nobody. Something in here, I think. Nope. Pick up one of the barrels and throw at it. That's wild. to be a way to get to the other side. Oh, give me that lead pipe. I couldn't, I wasn't sure where to go. Going up the ladder. What you waiting on now? This chick's slow as Christmas. No, she just got to eat on. Man, she had her liquid juice. My three Pepped her back up. She all right. <sighs> now what? Yeah, now what? Yeah, we did, Mr. Macaroni. Uh, I think we got our thousand subs. Uh, reward, but I'm not sure. I have to ask her name. What is it? 
One up, we got our thousand sub uh, reward or something. Tough claw. Oh, okay. Just don't look down, Emily. Go for a ride. Well, it would have been bad if uh, one of the tree limbs would have smacked her in the face. I was thinking she was like gonna ride it down right into the mouth of something. Yeah. Look, see, she get up in any kind of liquid, and she act like she ain't never. Uh oh. 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 Yo, that ain't right. It can't see me. It can't see me. Something scared it. All right, something scared it, and it could not see me. Well, you know. What scared it? That's the question. What would scare that? Yeah. I mean, I still hear something tr like stomping around. Oh, look, 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 look. Is that a funeral pyre or is that sacrifices? This is getting weirder and weirder. The hateful mound Jeremy mentioned in his book. Oh, it's the hateful mound. Uh-oh. Yo, let's go in and see yeah, what's we're in, in the there. Stuff. What's up? Mmm, whole lot of bones down there, though. Nobody know this. Please. Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Waugh. I met your brother Batiste earlier. I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get the tear away. Well, I hope the surgery goes good. Yeah, for the thousand, um, I just want you don't get like a plaque or anything for that. No, but uh, once you get your hours watched, then you can start being uh, monetized. Where? But we haven't quite got the hours yet. But I hope the baby does uh, good in surgery. Let us know how it, uh, how it goes. Uh oh, that big one coming after you now. I bet she looks really dumb. When she oh, falling flat on her God, face in front of people. Nice. There ain't nobody in there. She okay. I mean, usually it's always somebody in there. I would just be questioning why she's so dirty. If I saw oh, I'm back at your Like, show. what have you been doing in this house? But the thing is, it's like nobody even notices that she's covered in, like, goop and blood and everything else. Shot? Just pull the wedge out. She can't. It's wedged from the other side. How 
Hey, you could probably yeah, push it out on it or something. You think so? I don't know. Well, let's give that, it a didn't shot. you already go in that room from the other side? Reflections on the power of the verb yes. in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the don'ts of everyday life. Back up. Our actions become rote in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where they, we all they perform. Some really long, People like, who discover little, this freedom unexpectedly uh, is struck by the yeah. of this revelation and become paralyzed. Or worse. All right. So we got a sitting room key and we got the wedge thing. All right. So you see that sitting room? Looks like we might can go in the drawing room. It's green. Um, sitting room. Ah, there's the sitting room. Okay, sitting rooms closer to well, right beside the gallery. One floor up from where we are. Floor up, one floor up. It worked. Yeah, it did. That's what's up. Alright, let's check the uh, another clue. The Barlow lens. Okay, this is a short one. To double the magnification of your telescope, uh -huh. simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. All right. The more you know. All right. Got the cellar key. We can go in there and get that thing. About time. There's our belt. Oh. Don't mind if I do. So we got lost children. So does it do anything? Alone and lost. Walk a land of fear when there's nothing... You recognize or no one to trust. You prepare for the worst. Something is coming and you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor. Give them hell. All right, so we... Nothing down there. All right, so... Let's check out this telescope. See what it's talking about. I don't have about. everything I need. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, what would we have? We got the sitting room key and the cellar key. All right, so we still got a pair of boiler. Investigate the small parlor. Investigate the small parlor and go back to the... All right, that's downstairs. Small parlor, so small parlor is back outside the conservatory. And we I said it's a gun somewhere. This is where we're at. Yep, I'm right. Got me a shotgun. Me. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, come get some. All right. Now the end. Which way to the cellar? Go back out of the conservatory. Yep, yep. All right. on through here. Oh, there's all them crows. 
What y'all got for me? What y'all got? Look this way. Dad gum it. Freaking wrong way again. Alright. So we can't go that way. So we can't go that way. Ah, oh, the stairs. Let's just... Library. Uh -huh. Let's go down here. Yes, sir. Nope. Nope. Brats everywhere. Look at a cockroach. Hmm. Missing a circuit. Of course. Switch. All right, we're doing it, guys. We are going. We are on this like a white on rice. Boom. Turn it off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I, I guess this works too. Well. Valve handle. Anything else? Can we turn that back on? Of course we can't. So we killed all the power down here. I mean, I would have just turned the thing back on. That's just me. Oh yeah! I see you. Come on, big boy. What you got? What you got? Nothing. You nothing. You don't want none of this in this shovel. Hey, we working it now, boy. We working it now. Jeremy? Yo, it's Jeremy. Uh oh. Oh, he got. He got something all over him. Man, what's up with that? There was a dead body in here. Did I just imagine that? Girl, we don't know what you be imagining. Okay. Yeah, let me turn my light on. Alright. Will this fix the boiler? Oh, come on. Still need another one. The body of DeSetto's clerk transformed into some act of abomination. 
before he suddenly disappeared. Surely it was all in her head. A horrible vision planted by the dark man. Yes, thank you for for that. Now that Still missing a piece. The servant stairwell. Oh, good grief. Alright, so there's something in the clerk's office. And we have a key to the sitting room. So, if we go back up the other stairs, that'll take us into the sitting room. Hey, shotgun shields. That's what's up. Alright. So, we're gonna go... Yo, what's up? Sorry if I'm late uh, catching you. Kind of got all my chat sitting over here because I ran out of desk space on this side. So, Yo, what's up? We just enjoying a little alone in the dark here. Kind of got the lights out. Spooky atmosphere. Had a little ambiance light earlier, but uh, batteries ran out. It's hot up in here. Yeah, it's a little warm. <clears throat> So we fixed the boiler. You didn't get attacked anymore? Yeah, they tried to come. I got that shotgun out of that uh, other room, too. That one that was in the glass mm -hmm. case? And then saw Jeremy have little bowls all over him, and then he disappeared, and the lights came back on. All right. I'm going to have to take a small break. Don't go nowhere. Just got to go grab another quick drink. Use the restroom. Be right back.
All right. Set you. Set back up. mic so far away I mean camera because normally there's someone sitting right here <laughs> get the dark ambiance going again back in this alone in the dark oh excuse me all right here we go back at it Love how she just puts her hand on the rail whenever you're uh, real close to it. It's the little things that matter. It's the little things in a game. All right, so where are we going? All right, so the sitting room's on the other side. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. Then let's play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Well, you would have known if you did. Don't get crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. Too very hard to pin down that one. You want to see her? I'm good. Well, I should be going then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. I just want to find out. Nah, we good, bro. We good. We don't need nothing from you. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> he is much too lily livered to kill himself. Why would he? <laughs> Yo, because he half crazy and he's seeing it's stuff. He's greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. Hmm. Uh. She's still looking like you crazy. All right. There's, There's something things. missing. Uh, France. Anything else we got in here? All right, a lot of stuff up in here. I've seen this somewhere. Yeah, you've seen it this all. This must be the great Cassandra Beauregard's room. Mm -hmm. So, subscribe to the author Cassandra Beauregard. A particular bottle contains an ointment for pain relief, sold as the fourth version of the company popular. I don't know what I expected. Maybe something more extravagant? Miss Beauregard. I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Lottie's room. All right. What's that? I need something else. And he's that other bottle. I'm not sure I have everything I need. 
Nope. That's all right. Let's go. Uh, wait, check the paintings real quick. There was something on the paintings in the other room. Not in this one. All right. The mid. Uh, WC, Cassandra room, Gracie's room. Where in the world is Lottie's room? Man, that's all the way back. Downstairs. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, well. I think we're going to have to come back. Alright, so that was it. goes back out. Where did this one go? So this is Grace's room. Mm-hmm. Okay. Another clue. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game. Leave oh, goodness. The others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. Cute. Nothing else of interest in Grace's room. Alright, so let's go to Lottie's. Which is... Back downstairs. And we can get to... Let's see if we go down the steps. Dang it. And then across the piazza... And that'll take us to Lottie's room. Yep. Alright. Here we go. Uh, this is the first... Um, horror game that we're we're trying out still kind of getting all the bugs worked out of the new equipment that we got so we're kind of using this one as a test run and the reason the camera's so far away is normally there's someone sitting right here but they had to take a break so uh, as far as shooter games i mean i love shooter games some of them i can play some of them i can't um, especially like if they're a first person shooter, just cause after a while I started getting a little nauseous, but. All right. So straight ahead. This one alone in the dark, uh, had really good, uh, rating and reviews as far as horror games. I mean, it's freaking locked. How are you supposed to... Oh, jeez. Prepare the boiler. Find a combination for the lock. Find the key to the medicine box in the light room. Okay. There's a lot of freaking pieces to this freaking game. Outlast Trails. Outlast Trails, is that um horror or shooter? Or combination? Of 
clerks. The clerks back down. Steer hall. Then we go through reception, but that's locked. Oh, you're back. Well, these are our things. You gotta repair the decorative plate. Can't do that. Still missing a piece. Find you the gotta comp fix the boiler. No, no, I got. I went through that. I got, but it, the boiler is missing two pi uh, two pieces. Got to fix one. It? Yeah, I got one to fix the dial on the plate. I already stopped the steam from coming out. Um, and then so, it, but it's still missing a piece. Now we gotta find the combination for the lock in the room, and find the key to the medicine box to. Lottie's room right here in order to finish getting the thing. Kind of a combination. Okay. We can do that. Uh, first person or third person like this game. So the thing is though I have no more keys. I just had the putty knife that I got the wedge out from up under the door. So we're here. I'm going to go try to check this clerk's office. Um, to see if they got a key to get in that box in Lottie's room. Other than that, the boiler room still need the piece of the puzzle. And then right here in Cassandra's room... We have to have the other medicine bottle out of Lottie's room in order to complete that. Mm. It's a lot. This game has a lot going on. Good horror game, but it just has a lot going on. I just forgot where I was going. All right, so we're going straight ahead and then into reception. It's like every freaking every other door in this place is blocked. Well, it don't help that once you unlock the door, does it stay unlocked? Yeah, it stays okay. unlocked. But I need the key. See, I you have that. Any. You have that. Huh? I don't have a key. That's a oh. Key. That's a power. <laughs> I that, thought I was saying you needed that. No, the that's the tool I use to get that. Wedge out from up under the door. Oh, you finally moved the wedge? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got that wedge. Looks sturdy. Yeah, I'll be opening this. Alright, so the only other place we can go is up one floor to this stairwell. Maybe there's something up there because everywhere else is either blocked. Or locked, and it's showing that that can is solvable right there. So we need to go up the servant stairs, which is back across Piazza and up the steps. Of course it is. It's always back the way you came. So tired of all this running. Alright, so here's the servant steps. What's this? It's wet shut. I thought you said you got that out. I did. It worked. Oh, well it was another it was the other door. I guess there was two that was
It's like, dang, look at the size of this room. Come on now. Give me something. There's another door. Have you made it to chapter three yet? Or you're still no. on two? Oh, yeah, I'm still on two. So, oh, why is there a bed? I guess they're hoisting it up. It looks like they lost whoever was in it. Yeah. Hang on, Billy Bob. We're going for a ride. <clears throat> uh oh. That was the first cutscene I've had in a while. Oh, she didn't come in with her usual cool walk, lighting a cigarette. But she's still doing that whole, like, I'm ignoring yeah. you. I'm going to act like you're not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as I just walk around. Do you teach piano as well? Huh? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casino kids how to play the piano? <laughs> what name? How do you know about that? Just because grown-ups don't notice children doesn't mean we don't notice you. Yes. I taught them some Words piano. to live by. Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. Brought half the ceiling down. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened. You're not wrong. Why she gotta give an evil look while she's looking like that? Like, why don't she go into details if she knows that he was the cause? But you ain't wrong. I'm gonna get. Oh, oh no! <gasps> what? What are you doing? <laughs> Yo, that's a jacked up little kid right there. I'm gonna go now. See you around. She don't even care that she got pushed down. I'd kick her out that door. I'd kick her right in the face. Bro, she just jabbed a needle in you. We completed the, uh, one of them. Medicine box key, baby. Now we can go back to uh, Lottie's room. But I know as soon as I open one of these daggum doors, there's going to be a monster. How do you know that? Man, there's always a Usually monster. Usually the creepy scenes don't come until you have one of those little vision things. Uh-huh. All right, so... I wonder if we can just... Go out one of these other doors. Okay, that's a scare case. Let's just see. Blocked. Okay. Good to know. I need some more shotgun shit. I've only got five. Okay. This took us into the dining hall. There's more of it on the commonplace of evil. <sighs> At least this one didn't do on. And, and stark irreverence. Careless, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wish to refer. Not the wicked full of sin. It is you who stand and grin. All our good and uh, you settling rock. Way too much. Uh oh. Unlocked it. That's what's up. This door ain't locked no more, bro. So now we right there. Booyah. So Lottie's room is right over here. I ain't got that little tool no more either. The thing you used to get the wedge out? Mm-hmm. All right, so now we got to go back to 
Um, we gotta go up one level. To Gracie's room. So I'm probably gonna go back through the grand parlor. Oh. I like running my characters right into walls. Story of my life. I need the key. What you need in life? A set of keys? Oh, is it dark again? Oh, did I not go up high enough? What is that? Went out the wrong door. That's a really loud clock, too. All the clocks are loud. Oh, beignet. All right, we need one more to get that one. See, we completed the Lost Children one. Oh, got that door unlocked. Now, where does this go? Okay. Then we're going to hang the left. Straight, straight. Wait. Every time she like slow eases that door open, I'm like, yep, it's about to happen. Alright. This goes over here. Alright, you see it's got some Got it. Let's write this down. Two, five, seven. Two, five, seven. You got that? Don't forget the number now. We gotta open our book again. Two, five, seven. So Pisces. Gemini, Leo. I see Gemini, Leo. I see. Gemini, Leo. Found the other broken face. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go back down to the boiler. All right, so can't go take the round stairs. So we gotta go back. We can go down those stairs, which will come out there, go straight across to the conservatory. 
Yep. Alright. Let's see what we do. Yo, this chick gonna work out. She needs a nap. She needs, like, she deserves that. Yo, she can't get a nap. And a shower. She needs to change the clothes. She needs to change the clothes. Like, she don't know what a washing machine is. Gotcha. Holla at your boy. Now you gotta figure that shit <laughs> out. Oh man. You have a picture of it in your book? Let's see, I think so. Let's see. There's so much stuff being collected here. Alright. So it's got to be this one. Mm -hmm. So we got clouds of fiery sun shining down on a church and some houses. All right. So there's the church piece that needs to go down there. Right here. And then the sun is like. that right I think so and then there are some little houses maybe right here which leaves that one there or no that's not right Right? No, because it's, it's got to make a circle. Look at your corner pieces. Well, it can't go over here. It's got part of the sun. Look for the bottom of the church till you see how it's cut off. Yeah. Yes, no. There we go. That goes there. Right there? Yeah, because you see how it completes the field. Mm. Yep, good call, good call. Alright, so that means this one goes he mm. here. Look no? Look at that, the, right here. I think you had that one right, like on the bottom. I mean, not, yeah. This looks like it's supposed to be a sky piece. Yep. I think maybe that one on the bottom needs to go up there, maybe? No, the sun was shining. The thing was shining down on the... Oh, uh, maybe this one's just not... There we go. Now it, may, now it completes it. Alright, so...
I feel like this. I have nowhere to put my arm. I feel like there's a piece of the sun, like. That, yeah. Which leaves this one. You gotta turn that one too. This one, like that. So that 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 combines, which just leaves. There we go. Got it. Hmm. All right, so little to big, five, seven, nine. Little to be. Uh, seven. Nine. This is where you about to go into another one. Holla at your boy. No, you about to get up in a creepy part. Oh, I've been down there. That's where I got the the valve to be able to turn the thing off to go around uh, those. Uh... It's about to go down. This just opened on its own. Dreams. Well, Jeremy got some jacked up dreams. I'm just saying. You gotta keep your head on a swivel around this place. Since I visited the family tomb, I hope it's in a better state than the real world. I'd be questioning who put all these candles out everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yo, this thing got a... No sprung a leak. something is in What's this? I bet it goes right here. There we go. Oh yeah, you know something coming. They give you uh -huh. <laughs> they give you a weapon. Like, we got you something good. We're going to get, at least give you a weapon. It's good for about four hits, and that's it. But you... Oh, that's a new one. Okay, come on. Bring it on, Cletus. I 
how all these monsters have random body parts hanging out from somewhere of their body. Mm-hmm. Like whether it just be a couple of rando arms just flapped out from its back or something. It's like one little arm, a big arm with another little arm hanging out. All right, now we This is the chapel in Jeremy's book. It looks like I need more medallions to open it. I'm not sure I have everything I need. Well, we know that. We're just, we're just looking. Oh, come on. Pistol full, still only got five shotgun shells. You know, you crows gotta settle down. Oh, I see one. Right there in the distance. What kind of body part he got hanging on? He looks like that one from earlier. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna let you come to me. See? Oh, oh got you. you low down sucker. Don't give me a little nip. <laughs> I only got two left. I gotta be careful. fast in this dead gum water. Come on, I got something for you. No. Oh, it broke. Oh, and I wasted one of my bullets. Dead gum. But I shotgun, get him now. Got me three nips. Four nips. Come here, monster, monster, monster. Sneaking. I want because there's multiple. That's all right. I want this one right here. See me. Go on up in there, hurry up now. She be moving way too slow and I need her to go way fast. Oh, it fell in. Good, he can't come up in there. 
this down nice oh could you use a couple more shotgun shell but that's all right that's all right What's about to come out when you giving me another shovel? More ammo. There's nothing in there. Oh, there's, there's a thing. There's a thing right there. All right, so we gotta have one more. Hmm. One more plate. We're gonna get that nip. Shovel is about to break. I'm stuck on something. What? Are you kidding me? I'm stuck. <laughs> That's what happened. I'm literally stuck. Look. He blocked you in? No, it's like a glitch. It's a freaking glitch. I'm gonna have to quit it and freaking. I gotta quit it and then come back in because of the stupid glitch. I was wondering why all of a sudden, like, he hit me and, like, I'm not doing anything. So it, I saved my game there, but it automatically started me back in the courtyard. Oh, oh there are two of them. That's why I gave you all that. No, 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 no. Is that the thing? Like, she freaking stopped swinging again. Oh, it's one of them things. One of them things on the ground. Oh, no, you didn't. I can't see, you can't see. Ah. 
That's what got me last time. That's why I died. It's one of them things on the ground. Hey, what's going on, Rob? Mr. Stud? Yeah, we just hanging out. Hole. Yeah, let him bring him on up in here. He ain't coming in there. I know. Oh, he gonna get you through the gate though. Big one ain't going one day on. I know he done been burned up. He went down that time though, didn't he? Things look like something that would have been on South Park. <laughs> This is the one I went down before. To get that piece. Where I got glitched on. Oh, I already got it. Let's see. Oh yeah, cute it. There it is. You ain't got nothing. Give me that sledgehammer there. Old sledge you be doing a little more damage. Last a little longer. Take both of those please, thank you. That's when I went down and came out that one. I guess we're going down. I'm surprised she's climbing down. It surprises me every time she gets on a ladder. You know, consider <laughs> she didn't want to step foot over like a little thin chain. Yep. That's going to be one of them things up on there. Well, if it is, I can't do nothing about it. No, I don't think it's deep. It's just... A lot of bones and stuff down here. Ooh. I just got a feeling something's gonna be waiting right up here. Yeah. 
resupplying them. Man. Oh! The bad thing is, she was slinging that freaking thing, but it's like it wasn't you. No, them things that's, came out of nowhere. No, that's like the third freaking glitch I've done experienced up in this game. Well, I know where they at now. See? Oh, good lord, it is like... Bro, there is like a crap load of them suckers down here. I made it out. Whew. I don't think you was really supposed to fight them because there was probably 15 of them down there. stupid thing. There we go. Yeah, now we just gotta get back. So she jumped up that cliff, but she can't step over a chain. <laughs> I made it out. I mean... I mean, somebody took a lot of time to put all these candles out. Mm hmm All right. Let's put these bad boys here. All right. So... No, that's not right. That was she even told you. Yeah, maybe it's in the book. Yep. Nope. Well, that ain't in this book. There's the door right there, though, it looks like. But I can't tell. Oh, here we go. There it is. So, sheep on the left, bird on the right, fist up. Got it. 
got it. Oh, chick in a coffin. The chick from earlier. The library. Yeah. Emma, is that you? Jeremy. Yo, there, Jeremy. About time he what shows up. What are you up. doing here? Hey, you sounded so miserable in your letter. I've come to take you away from here. I can't believe I made such a foolish mistake. All I wanted was for you to stay away. What do you mean? I walk in the dark, man. A pact to keep Nolan safe from my own life is tribute. The dark man isn't real, Jeremy. There's nothing he can do to hurt you. How do you think any of this is happening? How do you still not trust my words? Fine. Then let me help. He will bury you next to me in his sunken temple for an eternity. I don't care. I'll find a way. I have my own talisman, and I know about Tarawaya. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't speak. Uh-oh, something's about to go down. She's looking around. Who's in here? Show yourself. You know who am I? You took your grandfather. No, I mean it. Who's in here? I can feel someone's in here. Uh-oh. That ain't never uh -oh. good. Uh-oh. Evelyn! It's the dead lights. A what? Bruh. It done knocked her down. Tarawaya. Tarawaya. Why, Why do you want to go there, there, Jeremy? Uh, she's laying on the bed there with a note on her chest. She saw her. She saw her already be dead. I've seen so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then find out like tide glass ball filaments. Dreams can crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way, a way to find me again, perhaps in Terroria. Luggage key. I need to find out more about Jeremy's pact with the dark man. He meant to go to Tarawaya. Maybe there is something there that would help. Well, are you gonna tell anybody about her? She was beautiful. I wonder what happened to her. All right, so we are there. Jeremy's room just down the hall. Let's open this trunk and see what it holds. There's the telescope lens. Telescope lens. Why, why would he lock it in here? Oh, Jeremy had found. Where was it at? Drawing room. Drawing room, drawing room. Ah. Back over. Good grief. Okay. So we gotta go. Down the servant steps. And out the library.
Still ain't seen no hide no hair of that freaking detective. Mm-mm. Oh, Hop out. Yeah, Hopper been missing for a while. Okay. All right, another puzzle piece here. So let's see if there's something in our book. in that one. Ah, here we go. So... It looks like a K. Yeah. So you do, 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 do. But this one's supposed to be... It's gonna be like your middle one, isn't it? Four one. Oh, we're gonna do it for me right in our hand. What's going on? Oh, you got another Isn't crazy thing coming. <sighs> hey. Great. So where is that? Dang it! I don't remember that room. Was this dream of Tarawea without a catch? A place for rest and comfort. Open in the dining room. Alright, so we're in the drawing room. Dining room. We can go out. Right through the library. And then boom, staircase. Okay. 
Why does that keep going off? Now it's locked? Are you serious? Oh, goodness. I told you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, they done got me blocked. Get out of the way. I hate this chick. Like, when she gets blocked in, it's like you can't do nothing. Like, she just stands there. Uh, how long have you been streaming? See, it's been three hours and 43 minutes. Oh, well, thank you. Alright, so this time it did not... Uh, we ain't going in the library. I still gotta go in the library. Even if I go around, I still have to go back into the library. <sighs> Is that where you just got killed? Yeah. I can't even go in this door. Oh, no, I mean in general. Um, yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, when we started was last night. Yeah, we're still working out the uh, all the kinks. Yeah. All right, uh, where are we at? So dining room. I have to go. Yeah, we um we have a YouTube channel that we travel a lot for. We do a lot of haunted places, like um, oh, here we go. spooky stories, anything creepy graves, any kind of thing like that on our channel. So we needed something kind of do while we were ho at home. Yeah. So we're trying, uh, we're trying this out and also, um, we just received all the equipment. We need to start a podcast too. So a lot of the, how do you know my name? Have we met? Um, in a manner of speaking, stories that we can't do on video because we can't get to the places or maybe desires. they're, I they don't exist anymore. Them. We're going to start doing a yes, podcast on them. Are you Jeremy? And just Is that the stories in general? I am only really across subconscious. Across the, on the road. I cannot speak for social panels panel. here. Yeah. How, how come you have a Spanish? I got to work on that. Um, uh, and what is this place? Now that we kind of get more of the bugs of this actual streaming now. The so. fabled convent of Tarawaya, where Jeremy goes to find peace during his session. Like she said, it's still a work in progress. Yeah, it's all fantasy. It's been kind of chaos. Based on things she has read. Two nights trying to figure out how yes. everything works. My name is Juan Luis Jorge. Yeah. Jeremy once read a book of mine. And it stuck with it. Yeah, we've got the YouTube oh, and TikTok so and Facebook all doesn't want to down. So now he wants to honor uh, his word to be dark We're still Why? dabbling in the. What's the point? I don't understand what the pack is for. Twitch and game streaming and, 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 and podcasts. To enter this world. Your uncle offered his soul to the dark man. Okay. To Sweet. Thanks for the advice. Much appreciated. No, that doesn't make any sense. The pact will be fulfilled at dawn, as the sun rises. Jeremy will forever be entombed in his sunken desert temple. As promised, the dark man you shall quarantine and here. starve the evil inside their settle. What about all the oh, add it here on uh, Twitch. Will not stand a chance. That's unacceptable. How could Jeremy agree to this? Desperation, of course. Jeremy did not choose martyrdom lightly. I make these stuff. Well, nothing is lost yet. I'm sure I can find a way to break the pact and save Jeremy. And hopefully the people at their settle. What even is this evil you're talking about? I don't know much. I think some nightmarish entity from the bayou. We'll just have to deal with that later. First, I have to get Jeremy out of his deal. What? All right, what's this cut? You have arguments? You're actually quite and inspired. I'm gonna have to said. save it and. If we put Jeremy's feelings take aside, take a little break. Start to say I agree with you. 
Really? I'm surprised you're not you in the like, it's not to save the second chapter at this no, point. No, it just this is the beginning of the third the chapter. Library. When did it try to it, find the, the truth? It ended when I walked through that door. Dark okay. okay. I didn't see you like a chapter three. Thing. Yeah, it popped up. You were um engaged in the chat. He's here? You'll have to be very careful. Of course. I I can be careful. Good luck, Miss Emily. I think she's done got infatuated with him. She's like, oh, I of think, course. I think he's going to play a part in the bad stuff. He's just trying to trick her. Yeah, it said chapter three and went to that cutscene. All right, let's say this. All right. Take a short break. We'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the beginning of Chapter 3. We're going to stop here. Been streaming now for... Uh, thanks, Leanne Waller, for the uh, follow. Um, been on here for about four hours now. I need a little break. <laughs> it's starting to hurt, so... Uh, we will be back on here streaming again uh, shortly, so... Till the end, thanks for following. Thanks for checking out the stream. We'll see you guys again soon.